Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we were making our way through Visserod Castle and finally came upon Aneska, who seemed to have been turned or at least dominated. Um, I don't think she had fangs, so I think she was either a ghoul or probably just dominated or something. By Labusa the Defiled, who seemed to have been possessed by someone else uh, looking to bring about I don't know looking to raise something to bring about uh, Gehenna I believe I don't know it wasn't really clear and when we were trying to save Aneska a pillar came down on us and next thing we know it's 1999 in London and we awoke from our torpor in the Society of Leopold who are vampire hunters and now we are basically making our escape. Who's that? To the abyss with thee. It's, it's just Leopold. Or a Leopold. It's just Kristoff. Uh, How are you? Oh, whoops. Oh. I'm pretty much full up on inventory. Cash. I will certainly take the cash. The plasma bag is pretty much useless to me. What the fuck? Mouse wasn't working. Cash, cash, more cash. I'm the cash man. That guy literally just walked into my sword. It was one of those things where it's like, you know, where like, you have your arm out and you're just like doing this and someone walks into it and you're like, I didn't, you saw me doing that. You walked yourself into it. It's like him with my sword. To the abyss with you. Oh, I thought that was cash. Whoops. Uh, you can drop on the floor. You know... If you were any kind of smart, you would have a gun that... You would have, like, a crossbow that fires, like, stakes. I'm just saying for my heart. least those holy water vials do more damage than bullets Fall of Visserod Castle from an unknown source, probably kindred. Probably. The Tsimitsi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the Antediluvians and Cain himself. And against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Cainites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. There you go. 
So Vukod Luck is pretty much our big bad. From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Visserad Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zemitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted, deserted and utterly intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukodlak's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. Sure he does. By the way, it just occurred to me. Why are there plasma bags around here? I mean, who carries around pla bags of plasma with them? What was this guy doing in here? Okay, so I guess I came from there. I'm sending you straight to ah! hell. Alright. Oh my god. Cook of shadows, that's okay. Shotgun too, apparently. Why did that not heal me? Did you not see your friend just to get eviscerated. Who's that? No with me. The water of life now burns me! To the abyss with me! Okay... Seems like this room was a waste. Kristoff, I pointed you out there. I don't even know why you turned. Healing ointment, thanks. Pistol clip, pistol clip. He <laughs> <laughs> finally drops a shotgun. 
Who's that? Who's that? Ah! 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 The Fall of Visserad Castle. Further additions to the original by Father Leo Alatius. Visserad Castle was once the heart of a pitched battle between humans and kindred scum. It marks the first time in recorded history that humans have successfully overthrown the bloodsuckers. They were burned, pulled from their havens and left to bake in the sun. They call it the night the very demons shook the walls of the city, spewing flame and death. It's a long Those a long brave phrase. humans are our spiritual forefathers, because they started the Inquisition and burned countless vampires. Of course, there was a lot of collateral damage, but that's unavoidable. Though we call ourselves the Society of Leopold, I prefer the name Inquisition. It strikes fear. What followed were centuries of hiding, which the vampires call the Masquerade. They went underground and tried to build a coalition. Fortunately, they split on policy. Two sects arose, the Camarilla and the Sabbat. The Sabbat sought to regain their domination over the Kine and spurned the masquerade adopted by the Camarilla. I trace this fracture in the vampire world to this event. Huh. Therefore, I must uncover the legendary Visserad castle. Who knows what wonders it holds? I don't know if that's actually true or not. Um, I, d I don't know if, like, this story itself is, like, canon. Uh, at least, like, the, to the earlier editions, anyway. Um, that, um, you know, the whole masquerade, the camera and the sabbat and all that, they actually really took hold after the whole Visserat castle. Um... Because if that's the case, Christoph Romuald would be like a canon person in in the lore of the vampire in in the in, uh, in uh, White Wolf and like White Wolf lore, which I don't know is the case. I actually have no idea, but that's really interesting. If that is the case, I I had no idea. Lure of Flames. The Fall of Visserard Castle. Additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Ukudlok's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the Bruja Prometheans, led by Ekaterina the Wise, crushed his plan and raised Visserard Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Vukudlok's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. Hmm. <laughs> So here's the $64,000 question. Why are they looking to find the remains of the castle? Um, I mean, in terms of like archaeology, yes, you, you would want to excavate ruins and see see what you can find obviously for like research for knowledge all that shit but like okay in the real world as far as i know anyway 
vampires, mummies, werewolves, all that shit does not exist. Okay. So excavating these these ruins has no real detrimental effect that we know of. I mean, the only thing I can really think of is like the curse or the curses that befell the, the archaeologists when they raided uh, Tutankhamun's, the, the tomb of Tutankhamun, um, where they met like their untimely deaths, like what was it, weeks after uh, at separate events, like uh, separate times. I think their deaths were like a month apart or something like that. <laughs> but it happened like weeks after they excavated Tutankhamun's uh, final resting place. So there's no real ramifications. But in a world where there's like all this kind of shit, why would you excavate and potentially bring about this vampire, like this really, really, really strong vampire? Like it, it, it's, you're just asking for it at that point. Like you have the research, like you, you know what was going on. You know better than we do. I guess that's the that's how it always is, right? People in power don't give a shit about this kind of thing. They they want they have their own agendas. They probably want to harness Bukudlad's power for their own or something. I don't know. you come from Die, filthy to the beast. abyss with you. oh rags nice I can't even use a computer in there My burdens prevent further cumbrance. From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Viserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune! Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. I mean, obviously it's going to cost you a fortune. Oh, fuck. All right. Ooh. 
Ooh, a rifle. Let's see with the range on this thing. to the house. Seven. You know what? Let's have some fun. What do we have here? Size of the beast. Uh, let's try emulate. it up. Right now it doesn't do a lot of damage. Saved in a while. Die, vampire! Die! Can you hit him, please? Thank you. Asia's healing. It's good to know. Ha! You feel your unlife oozing away? Oh, the abyss with me.
You know, I don't know why. This place reminds me of the Spencer Mansion. To the abyss from Resident Evil 1. Not healing as much. Any extra monies? Journal of Father Leo Atlatius, Society of Leopold, October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ignatius insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Viserat Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruins. Did he kill him? Did he kill Friar Ignatius? That's so funny. Yeah, man, it just goes to show that... Uh... Not all monsters are the things that go bump in the night. Are you stuck? Is that a silver ring? Yes, it is. Yeah, why can't they just be like the good guys are actually like the good guys and not just a bunch of assholes? I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm sending you straight to hell. You feel your unlike oozing away. To the abyss with Back you. off, blood sucker. I'm sending you to hell. Back off. You came to me. You guys are the ones ganging up on me. What is that? Is that a gun? It's like a sword. A baton. Hmm. How big is this baton? Probably get rid of this in here. Do I have lure flames? Yeah, I do. Oh, duh, that's the ones that was raising. Um, I'll get rid of that. Now we got this six slots, really. I mean, of course, why not? The onyx pans we can get rid of. And a silver one, actually. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. That's a little bit close. That's okay. And another document. And a diamond bracelet. Oh, I already have that. I mean, that I can just replace there. Get rid of the revolver bullets. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. God has blessed me with my greatest prize. An ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mark all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate, where I'll bind him and fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. I actually like that they set up why there's plasma bags around. I mean, it's kind of a weak um, uh, excuse, but hey man, at least they addressed it, which is actually pretty cool. Sending you to hell! Ah! 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 The water of life now burns me! Ah! To the abyss with thee! Ah! Ah! To the abyss with thee! Old watch. Ooh, that guy looks like a boss? Oh. No, I think that's dialogue. Here first. Who's that? Another gold watch. Um, why can't I not grab that? Okay, well, I can't. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius, and I have killed bloodsuckers like you for 200 years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred, vintage 12th century, 1140, a good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place, but I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one, you are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
I can draw no precious blood here. Really? I can't. To the abyss with thee. I did not think that we'd actually kill him. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all vampires. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first three hundred years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the Earth! Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. So this guy lived for three hundred years. And with, what, four or five hits we killed him? Ants playing as gods, eh? Oh. Well, that's the map. Is there like a button we need to press or something to leave or? No, I guess not. Okay, I, I didn't expect to actually end up back there. And I have no idea what that is. Oh, suitcase. Sighted pistol. Nice. Find the source of the shipments. Explore London for clues about the shipments of Earth from Prague. Uh, so how do we leave now? Oh, these doors are open now. thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches, which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. Indeed. Is that the autosave or no it was just slot one okay all right guys that will do it for this episode 
Um, seems like this uh, Sir Leo uh, at whatever his name was, Leo. Good old Leo had high aspirations, but after 300 years, we have killed him in three fell swoops. So, thus ends his reign, or supposed reign. So next time we will actually uh, look around London proper and see if we could find some kind of haven. Um, I honestly, I don't remember where the story goes. I, I have... I remember again. I remember that we do a time jump, but I don't remember where it goes. Um, I, but again, we are about two thirds through the story, so we're we're getting closer to the end. But we still got a bit of a ways to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That'll do it for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.